young before you got married. You know, everything has drastically, drastically changed. At the end of the day, women can make it a mission. If you And I'm not saying everybody in this room wants to get married. Obviously not, by the first few. That was definitely an oxymoron. <laughs> well, we know that. At the end of the day, look, uh, whether it's marriage, whether it's a committed relationship, or just whether it's a relationship or dating, you can sit around and twiddle your thumbs and wait for the doorbell to ring, you know, because he's coming knocking on your door because he happens to be in the building and goes to your apartment by accident. I mean, come on, get a grip. Get a grip, ladies. It doesn't work that way. You have to be proactive in order to get results. For some reason, I get away with things that nobody else gets away with. Well, but you know what? Yes, you know. But at the end of the day, it's again, it's about confidence. No, I don't want you to go up to somebody who might think you were security or God knows what. You know, but there's a way of asking. You can basically say, you know, you can motion, you have a question to ask them. So, you know, take out your iPods. People aren't stupid. I mean, they're, you know, it's so funny because I met my husband at the gym, and nowadays people are so like, zoned in to like their iPods or their Blackberries or whatever, you know, and they're like at the gym, they're working out, and that's it, they're leaving. You know, it's not like it was years ago when it was like a social thing, they had to put makeup on to go to the gym. It's not like that anymore. But, you know, as long as you are sweet and you add your femininity, you know, you use your femininity to seduce somebody. And I think you know how to do it. First of all, you're European, so you've got a way about you to begin with that you're climbing way ahead of the game. You also need a very sophisticated, as do you, Francie. You know, you need a cultured, worldly, sophisticated, preferably European type of a guy, or maybe a New York guy with European sensibilities that's well-traveled and, you know, that's cultured and that's eclectic. I mean, you need a very definitive type of a person. So you want to sit around and wait for him to come to you, or do you want to be proactive and go out there and try and find him? You know, I have my approach. I just sometimes, you know, I try to. I I approach the people a lot. I talk a lot. I'm not shy. And but do you they, ever get anybody that's rude to you? No, not really. Right. No, not really. No, you just won't. Yes. Uh, I think you're right. There are a lot of nice guys out there who are successful who are a little bit shy, and uh, it's not even. A, Start talking to you. Would you think, whoa, she's aggressive, she's not pushing? It. Not at all. Not at all. Because it's just as he said. It's just opening up the conversation. Because there is some kind of eye contact, or there's some kind of body language that you're feeling, whether it's a smile or something. And he's not going to do anything. I'm telling you, it's just men are intimidated by pretty women, no less. Just women. They just won't. They are. What can I tell you? I mean, that's one of the reasons why. I mean, I have to facilitate. It's what can I tell you? It is what it is.